Okay, so today I'm going to bend one of my little rules for these uh, 52 licks that we're, that we're going through. Um, normally I like them just to be nice and short and, uh, and easy to play. Uh, that way you can hopefully watch one of these videos for a couple of minutes, uh, take a second to get the lick down, and then hopefully uh, use it on the gig that night. Uh, but the lick we're going to cover today is a little more complicated. Um, it's a Kendrick Scott lick. I've had a couple requests for Kendrick Scott, and... Man, I love his playing. He's, he's easily one of my favorite uh, uh, newer drummers on the scene. And um, it, But if you've been watching these videos, uh, I covered an Antonio Sanchez lick a little while ago, and I mentioned that it was a lick, um, it's a little phrase that I hear Antonio and Kendrick use. Um, and I also mentioned that they're both from, they're both kind of developed ar around the same time uh, in Boston, that whole Berkeley, uh, New England Conservatory kind of scene. Um, so it's, it's, Fairly common that the guys around each other are gonna gonna swap information, swap swap licks. So, uh, in the middle of this phrase is gonna be that little Antonio Sanchez lick um, that uh, that I showed you on an earlier video. And I also ha have to say, when I call something like Antonio Sanchez lick or or Jimmy Cobb lick, it doesn't necessarily mean they invented the lick. It just means that's where I heard it from. So. Um, but, you know, vocabulary, like in any language, is going to get passed around a lot. So uh, that's usually why I just pick somebody, like wherever I pick it up from is who I give it to, essentially. Uh, so I don't know if Kendrick came up with this or Antonio or whatnot, but they both use it, and it's a great phrase, and ultimately it really, it really doesn't matter. So let's go over this Kendrick Scott phrase. Um, it's it's uh, going to be three beats long. It's going to be in triplets. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. So this is uh, very slow. Uh, it's going to go over three beats, so nine triplets, and it goes like this. A one, two, three, four. So it's three beats, uh, three sets of triplets. Uh, the sticking is right, left, right, left, left, right, right, foot, foot. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. So when you get to that phrase, uh, for me, so you see right there in the middle, you have the, uh, which is that little Antonio Sanchez lick that, that, that we were pointing out, right? So uh, you've got a triplet before that, which is left mute and then a stick on stick. And then after that, we get the, those four strokes from the Antonio Sanchez video. Left, left, right, right. And then we end it with two notes on the bass drum to round out the triplet. Triplet, triplet. Now, uh, if the sticking to this, uh, getting getting those stick on sticks uh, nice and clean, and and also getting uh, the left hand to play to play strokes and then mutes. If that's a little difficult, um, just play the phrase without the stick on stick for a while. Right, right, left. Sorry, right, left. Uh, stick on stick out it's a little easier to play faster you can obviously move it around the drums as well but ultimately I think what makes it hip um, is getting that stick on stick sound in there so if you need to practice it very slowly getting that stick on stick to be nice and clean um, uh, and, but at the same time if you want to use it in a faster tempo until that gets comfortable just leave out the stick on stick and just play it right on the snare drum it still sounds good and uh, the accent pattern, that, the accent pattern is if you just listen to and follow your right hand, you're going you're gonna to hear the, the phrase and the, the rest of the stuff will smooth out. It won't be so clunky. A lot of times we have a phrase this long, so many strokes, so many things involved. Um, as we speed up, it can all those beats start to compress and it starts to sound tense. The way to loosen that up is to just focus on the bigger the bigger beats, or in this case, it's the little accent pattern. And to me, 
The easiest one to follow is going to be in that. It just, just, just literally to follow the strokes in your right hand. Do that, 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 do that. Uh, that way it'll smooth out as it gets faster. But to me, this works at a nice medium tempo as well. Works with the stick on stick or without.